Welcome to the battlefields of World War II. In this series, we will be looking at a massive amount of conflicts in chronological order which occurred during the span of World War II. We begin all the way back, when things start to escalate in Asia during 1937, and go all the way to 1945 at the end days of the war. Each conflict will be briefly introduced, the battle will then be fought out in Battlefield 1942. All theaters of war, including the Pacific, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, and Africa, will be dealt with. Be warned that there may be historical inaccuracies when it comes to the battles that are provided. But the main purpose of this series is to entertain, not to educate. For your epic journey throughout World War II, look no further. Enjoy. The Battle of the Afsluitdijk was an unsuccessful attempt by the German army to seize the Dutch Afsluitdijk in May of 1940. If the Germans had taken the dam, they could have taken North Holland from its north. The Dutch troops were led by Captain Christian Boers and the Germans by General Kurt Feldt. Earlier in May 1940, two infantry sections, 70 men in all, were sent to the end of the dike to prevent German landings beyond the vision of both fortresses. The Germans soon found out about these units and seven Luftwaffe fighters strafed Dutch positions. One soldier and two civilians were killed and ten civilians wounded. After this, they were recalled to Kornwedersand. Until the 12th of May, the Germans had not tried to take the fort. However, that evening, three soldiers were sent to see if the fort had been abandoned. They were pinned down by machine gun fire. Two were killed, while the third escaped. The Germans decided to take the fortress. They planned to launch Luftwaffe strikes, then begin an extending artillery bombardment by howitzers, after which they would send 500 soldiers. However, unknown to the Germans, Three 20mm anti-aircraft cannons and four heavy anti-aircraft machine guns had arrived overnight at Kornwader Zand. The next day, pilots who had previously flown unchallenged were under fire. The Germans sent 62 planes to bomb the fort. The planes dropped five waves of bombs. Four planes were shot down and crashed into the sea. The bombardment was followed by an hour of heavy bombardment from the howitzers, but it had little effect on the heavily protected Dutch. As soon as the bombing stopped, German shock troops advanced down a narrow dike on bicycles. Boers waited until they were within 870 yards and then ordered machine gun fire, making it difficult for the Germans to withdraw. Most soldiers tried to hide, while a few managed to advance. The Germans were under constant fire for an hour and 20 minutes. When Boers ordered firing to stop, the remaining Germans withdrew. The assault had failed. During the night, Boers ordered the dike to be lit by flares and searchlights so the fortress could not be attacked by surprise. Hey everybody and welcome to the next episode of Battlefields of World War II, the series where we go through uh, all the battles of World War II in chronological order as long as they are in the game to Battlefield 1942 and Battlefield 2. Today we have the Battle of the Afsluit Dike or Kornwader Sand, um, which is the final battle uh, that we do in Holland until we return during Operation Market Garden. Now this was a very successful um, battle for the Dutch, which was quite, kind of rare because they got dominated by the Germans a lot. Uh, but here, the Germans tried to retake uh, the dam over, or the dike over and over again, uh, and fail miserably. Now, this battle will be a little bit more epic in its scale uh, than uh, the actual battle was, because uh, the Dutch only lost one soldier uh, and I think wounded were only like two or three but here there will be a lot more dead but again as the intro said uh, take it with a with a grain of salt also if this is your first episode please go and check uh, back because you've missed about 17 or 18 episodes I get a lot of questions on the videos recently like oh my god is this like the first episode or I'm looking forward to the series not realizing that we've been doing this now already for it. This is the 19th episode, so um, from the 20th episode on, I'm going to change the intro a little bit to say, you know, if this is the first one, please go and check back. I will have a link to the very first episode in the description down below, so please go check that out. Also, uh, it 
not necessarily has to do with this series, but if you do want to support us and see more gameplay, me and my friend Ryan have a channel called Looping Real Gaming. You can find that in the description down as well. And we have things like Star Wars Battlefront. We have a lot of Arma stuff. So if you just want to see more and cool gameplay of various games, please go and support us there. We would appreciate it a lot. All right, so here we actually have the dike, and I would actually have to say that, oh God, did that fall in the, fall in the water? It totally did. This is the map that looks like Holland the most. Not only that, but this would actually, oh Jesus, would give the Germans uh, access to uh, North Holland from the north, which uh, North Holland is where I was born and raised. Look at that German convoy coming up there. Now they do have some armor. I don't believe I read anything about them using armor during this. The uh, information I could find said that they were actually maneuvering on bicycles. So a very Dutch way to do so. Now, fighting on a dike, of course, does give the defender the advantage that you can see for very far. So, where the Dutch commander ordered a hold fire until the Germans were really close, really put, gave them an advantage. Again, the actual battle was not this heavy. The focus also more on anti-air, which even cost the lives of a few civilians here and there. So yeah, so after this we are done with um, the invasion of Holland by Germany. And we move over to Belgium and then France. We actually don't have too much um, of the battles of Belgium. I think we have two maps. Oh, jeez, two maps coming up. And then we're heading to France, which is quite a lot, including, of course, the Dunkirk incident. They're just driving Dutch troops over like it's nothing. Oh, there we go. Let's actually see if we... Sniper. Jaeger. Or a Jager. Like we Dutch like to say. I think even if you would play this uh, seriously as a multiplayer match, it would be for the Germans so difficult to actually take a point. All of the Dutch uh, control points are so close to each other, and again, they have perfect visibility on the enemy. Now again, if there is a... Uh, oh. oh, look at that. I wonder where we got some... I, we have to have some AA station around here. But if you do know a map or something that is not necessarily part of a certain mod and that you think deserves to be in here, please do let me know. Again, I got from a, from a viewer, I got the brilliant tip of the Norwegian Resistance mod, which gave us the opportunity to actually do um, three to five maps in uh, Norway. A, uh, a scenario or a battle that would be completely skipped. Were it not for that viewer. I guess it's just the bunkers and the machine guns that I see. I guess we don't have AA. Oh, there's something over there. That's AT, I think. Alright. going to be a slaughter when we change to the Germans. Oh, wait. Oh, it's just a regular bike. Here we 
go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Die, motherfuckers! Okay, that did not last long. Now, this might be a little bit more accurate in terms of German deaths, um, but again, uh, people are very divided about the actual German deaths. Some say it's 330, you know, hundreds of dead. They say it's not. Um, probably the hundreds of dead is more accurate, seeming how many units they actually sent towards them. They're actually about to lose their 40. Alright guys, we're gonna switch over to the Germans to see if we can do better than they actually did. Alright guys, now we're gonna switch to the Germans, see if we can do better. We have 2,000 reinforcements, yet last time we were absolutely slaughtered. With all our armor. Cars. Here we all go. Oh, there's the plane. Ready for takeoff. As we march towards death and glory. Of course, the problem is that if you die, you start all the way back there, so the approaching point is quite far. This is kind of the moment where we are the strongest because we have all our armor in the same spot. Our car is already burning. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look at this assault. Incredible. It does feel very epic, though. And it's cool that this actually works for the AI. We had some trouble, of course, before where the Germans in other maps had only one spawn point and they were not able to move from there. And here it doesn't seem like a big problem, though these two are stuck now, but they're, uh, they're trying to fix it. Oh, they have two armored cars there. Jesus. Okay. Stay strong, man. Oh, Jesus. We need more men at the front, boys! Look at them all. Ugh. Reinforcing! Oh, Jesus. I'll hop into uh, a vehicle after this, after I die. Uh oh, I saw a grenade, yep. Hope there's a vehicle for me to spawn in. Doesn't look like it. But I also spawn all the way back here. This is where the plane spawns. 
nobody's actually shooting at the plane, so I assume that that one guy who's actually in the plane over there will be there forever. Let's see, we can get into a car. Here we go. Here we got some armor. Actually, I want to get in this, this one. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's put this to good use. Whoa! That did not last very long. I did kill a ton though. I wonder if it's even more effective to just kind of hold back and with a machine gun mow all the infantry down. Now I spawn all the way back here constantly. It's a little weird. But again, this is what makes it difficult to actually gain on them because every time we die, we spawn all the way back here and we need like a minute or something to go get back to the front. That would actually be a gameplay aspect that I do know some of my friends will not like. I don't necessarily mind it. It's a little bit of a rest before uh, we get back into it. Some of my friends are more into Quake and that sort of stuff, you know? I can't see a thing. All the dust. Here we go. Oh, we got hit. Well, the thing is though, I do believe we are doing better in terms of that the Dutch have less reinforcements. Like we're killing them more, I guess, sort of. Yes, no, I don't know. I actually did not pay that much attention to how much reinforcements the Dutch had last time. See, we can get into this half track. Maybe this stone. Heat up hunt. Here we go. Da 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 da. Oh shit. Da da da. Da, 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 da. Shoot them all! Da, 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 da. Wow, we are actually getting quite far. I'm not going fast enough to where I can kill them. Well, a few. Wow! I cannot believe we got through that. Incredible. Holy shit! We are actually here at a point. Oh god. Oh shit. I don't know where. Holy shit, I actually made it neutral. Wow, we got it! And then we lost. Alright, guys, thanks so much for watching. So next time we will have Belgium, and um, I will see you guys on the next battlefield.